Now, let us talk about the soil classification by engineering behavior. Particularly, the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Official Classification System. Soil Classification Different soils with similar properties may be classified into groups and subgroups according to their engineering behavior. Classification system provide a common language to concisely express the general characteristics of soils, which are infinitely varied without detailed descriptions. Most of the soil classification system that have been developed for engineering purposes are based on simple index properties such as particle size distribution and plasticity. Although several classification systems are now in use, none is totally definitive of any soil for all possible applications because of the wide diversity of soil properties. Although the textural classification of soil is relatively simple, it is based entirely on the particle size distribution. The amount and type of clay minerals present in fine grain soils dictate to a great extent their physical properties. Hence, the soil engineer must consider plasticity, which results from the presence of clay minerals, to interpret soil characteristics properly. Because textural classification systems do not take plasticity into account and are not totally indicative of many important soil properties, they are inadequate for most engineering purposes. Currently, two more elaborate classification systems are commonly used by soil engineers. Both systems take into account the consideration of particle size distribution and other break limits. They are the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Official or ASTO classification system and the Unified Soil Classification System or USCS. The American Association of State Highway and Transportation Official Classification System is used mostly by state and country highway department, while the USCS is generally preferred by the geotechnical engineers. ASTO Classification System The ASTO system of soil classification was developed in 1929 as the Public Road Administration Classification System. It has undergone several revisions, with the present version proposed by the Committee on Classification of Materials for Subgrades and Granular Type Roads of the Highway Research Board in 1945, or the ASTM designation D3282, or ASTO method M145. This classification system is based on the following criteria. Number 1. The grain size. A gravel is considered as a fraction passing the 75 mm or 3 inch sheave and retained on the number 10 or 2 mm US sheave. The sand is a fraction passing the number 10 or 2 mm US sheave and retained on the number 200 or 0 0.075 mm US sheave. Next is the silt and clay. Silt and clay are those fraction passing the number 200 US sheave. The next criteria for the classification of using the ASTO is the plasticity. The term silty is applied when the fine fractions of the soil have a plasticity index of 10 or less. The term clay is applied when the fine fractions have a plasticity index of 11 or more. Third criteria is if cobbles and boulders, which is size larger than 75 mm, are encountered, they are excluded from the portion of the soil sample from which classification is made. However, the percentage of such material is recorded. To evaluate the quality of a soil as a highway subgrade material, one must also incorporate a number called the group index or GI with the groups and subgroups of the soil. This index is written in parentheses after the group or subgroup designation. The group index is given by the equation GI equal to the quantity of 
F or fraction passing the number 200 sheave minus 35 multiply to the quantity of 0 0.2 plus 0 0.005 multiply to the quantity of the liquid limit minus 40 plus 0 0.01 multiply to the quantity of F minus 15 multiply to the quantity plasticity index minus 10. There are some rules to be followed in determining the group index. Number 1. If this equation yields a negative value, it will always be 0. Number 2. The group index calculated will always be round off to the nearest whole number. Example is, if the value of the GI is equal to 3.4, it is rounded off to 3. And if it is 3.5, it is rounded off to 4. Number 3, there is no upper limit for the group index. That means that GI may have a value of, of a very large number. Number 4, the group index of soils belonging to groups A-1-A, A-1-B, and A-2-4 a-2-5 and a-3 is always 0. And number 5, when calculating the group index for soils that belongs to group a-2-6 and a-2-7, use the partial group index for the GI or GI equal to 0 0.01 multiplied to the quantity F minus 15 multiplied to the quantity PI minus 10. This equation will only be used if the soil falls on the groups uh, under the A-2-6 and A-2-7. This is called the partial group index or PI. So this is the table for the ASTO classification of highway subgrade materials. You can see the general classification and the groups. Group A-1 have subgroups of A-1-A, A-1-B and A-1-A. Then we have also A-3, A-2, we have A-2-4, A-2-5, A-2-6, and A-2-7. So on the left side, we have the sheave analysis percent passing. For the number 10 sheave, number 40 sheave, number 200 sheave. And then this, is, this table is for granular materials or 35% or less of total sample passing number 200 sheave. And then we also have the criteria for the liquid limit and the plasticity index. Note that the liquid limit and plasticity index are based on the fraction passing number 40 sheave. And then we can see the usual types of significant constituent materials. At the bottom, it is indicated the general subgrade rating as excellent to good. Granular materials are rated as excellent to good for highway subgrade materials. Next is for silty clay materials. Silty clay materials under the ASTO classification system are those with more than 35% of total sample passing the number 200 sheep. Also, we have the group classification A-4, A-5, A-6, and A-7. For A-7, we have A-7, 5 and A-76. So we also have the number of uh, the sheave analysis percent passing number 10, 40, and 200. Also we have the liquid limit and plasticity index. For group classification A-7, it will be classified as A-7-5 if the plasticity index is less than or equal to liquid limit minus 30 and A-7-6 if the plasticity index is greater than the liquid limit minus 30. And the general subgrade rating for silty clay materials is fair to poor as a sub highway subgrade material. So this is the range of the liquid limit and plasticity index for soils in group A-2-4 for groups A-2, A-4, A-5, A-6, and A-7. Let us clarify some terms here in our discussion. Here are the pictures of the sheave. 
So this is the process of the sheave analysis in which the soil will be sheaved into different diameters. Let us consider the number 200 sheave here in the figure. The soil in this area or in this sheave are considered as the soil retained on the number 200 sheave or the soil that did not pass on the 200 sheave. And the soil here is the soil not retained or the soil that passed the number 200 sheave. This is for the clarification and to lessen the confusion for the terms in our discussion. Let us apply what we have learned in this example problem. The results of the particle size analysis of soil are as follows. The percent passing through the number 10 sheave is 100%. Percent passing number 40 sheave is 80 Percent passing through number 200 sheave is 58. The liquid limit and plasticity index of the minus number 40 fraction of the soil are 30 and 10 respectively. Classify the soil by the ASTO system. Okay, so this is the ASTO classification system chart for the granular materials. So, the percent passing in number 10 shift are 100, for number 40, 80, and for number 258. The value for the liquid limit is 30, and the value for the plasticity index is 10. For this method, we just need to satisfy the requirements under the different group classification. So first, for the number, 100, number 10 shift, the percent passing is 100. Therefore, it does not satisfy the requirement for A-1-A. And since this classification don't have requirements, so let us check this group classification. Now, next, number 40, SHIV. The percent passing is 80. So obviously, the requirement for A-1-B is not satisfied. Next is for the number 200, SHIV. Since the percent passing in the number 200 sheep is 58, therefore, it does not pass the requirement for the A-3. And also, it does not satisfy for the A-2-4, in which the maximum percent passing should be 35. Same as A-2-5, A-2-6, and A-2-7. So, this means that for this problem, the soil is not classified as a granular material so let's take a look the number 200 sheave it is said that the percent passing for the number 200 sheave is 58 at the top we can see that this table is only for granular materials which means granular materials that have 35 percent or less of total sample number 200 since this soil has a 50 percent passing number 200 sheave it is not considered as a granular material. Therefore, this is not the group classification for this soil. Next, let us take a look for the classification of the soil in the silt clay materials. Again, the number 10, the percent passing in number 10, 40, and 200 sheave are given. Also, the liquid limit and the plasticity index. Since the number 200 sheave passing is equal to 58 and this classification is for silty clay materials which classified of a soil having more than 35% of total passing number 200. Therefore, we can use this table to classify the soil in our example problem. So, for our first requirement, for number 200 sheave, the percent passing is 58. Since the minimum for all, for all the group classification is 36, it passed the requirement for A-4, A-5, A-6, and A-7. Next is the liquid limit equal to 30. Since the liquid limit is equal to 30, therefore, it passed the requirement for A-4 and A-6, which is the maximum is equal to 40. And it does not satisfy the requirement for A-5 and A-7. Next is the plasticity index. 
Plasticity index is equal to 10. Since for A-4, the maximum is 10, the requirement for A-4 is satisfied. And for the A-6, it is not satisfied. The group classification of this soil is A-4. The usual type of significant constituent materials for this soil are silty soils. And the general subgrade rating is fair to poor. Next, let us compute the Group index or GI. The formula for the GI is shown below. And let us substitute the value in which F is the percent passing the number 200 sheep. The liquid limit is the LL and the PI is the plasticity index. We will get an answer equal to 3.45. Recall the rules for the group index. Since the group index is 3.5, let us round off the value into 3. So, the soil will be classified as A-4, parenthesis, close open parenthesis, 3. This is the proper format for classifying the soil using the ASTO classification system.